know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm good, yes, I'm dead. Most of the things I don't wanna say. Hey you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO or welcome to Taylor XO if you are a new subscriber. So y'all, let's get into this video. So as you guys know, Jazzy posted a vlog and she posted over, I think it was last week, it was last week she posted this picture. She was at this restaurant with Chris and Legend as always, as always <clears throat> when the kids leave she's always taking legend and chris out they're eating at a buffet they're at a mexican mexican restaurant they're here there they're somewhere and y'all know when the davis four are there she doesn't want to be bothered to uh be taking the kids anywhere taking them out to eat taking them to the movies taking them to the park i mean it, she will take them to the park but that's about the most she will do is take them to a park so she posted this video and a lot of people were talking about it just because y'all know the history of Jazzy always never buying the four kids anything, always putting Legend before those four kids. And y'all know she's had a history throughout, you know, since Legend has been born. She'll go to the store and buy Legend these shoes and she'll buy him. I'm not even going to say clothes because most of the times when I do see a Legend wearing clothes or outfits, they are old outfits from Aiden. But overall, we have seen Legend have on a variety of sneakers, shoes, and we all know that the Davis Four always have some raggedy old shoes on, raggedy clothes on, or whatever somebody else decides to buy them because we know that Jazzy does not buy her four kids, you know, pretty much of any clothes or any shoes or any sort of thing like that. So she went and posted this video of them going to the outlets and she claimed that chris bought her a pair of shoes she claimed that chris bought legend a pair of shoes so let's get into this clip of her uh entering the store and looking around and her explanation on why she's only buying legend something and she's not getting the davis for anything so let's get into this clip working out so as i'm walking around looking at everything i'm like oh it's full stuff so i think i'm going to come back and get a few things for aiden and kaylin but i want to bring them along with me so that i'm not just buying something and they don't like it or wear it because kids will do that how are you guys are standing here in the mirror he wants to look at his stuff here no 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 i'll turn you around there you go Ooh, who is that? So as y'all saw in the clip, she started talking about how she's going to come back and buy the kids their shoes. And she only spoke on buying Kaylin and Aiden shoes. Like, sis, you just went out prior, what, two weeks ago and bought that bum in there, a $500 PS5. But when it comes to buying all your kids a pair of Nike shoes, you act like you can only buy a select few some. And even when you do buy them some, you only buy one or two some. And then you act like you don't even want to buy them some because you just don't have the money to buy them some. Like, sis, I'm sure you're not going to Nike buying the most expensive pair they have there. We know that you're going to go there. We know that you're going to buy the clearance shoe. We know that you're not going to get them anything extravagant or, you know, what their, their friends in school are wearing or anything like that. So why not just go there and even buy them a pair of clearance shoes at this point, sis? Because... In all the time that you've ever had the Davis for, we've never, ever seen you ever up in no Nike store, uh, swiping no cards to buy no Nike shoes for none of them kids. But as soon as you had Legend, this is now what, the second to third time now that we've seen you up in the Nike store buying that little boy a pair of shoes when he doesn't even go anywhere. Your kids are the one who are back and forth to their father's house, your house. Uh, they go to school. They're back and forth to school. They go, you know, uh when they do their sports as of now they're not in sports but when they were in sports you didn't even want to buy them shoes to go and do their basketball sis like what sense does it make you don't buy the kids that do basketball that are in school sneak nice you know good quality sneakers nike sneakers that you're buying legend but when it comes to your kids you're at walmart buying the walmart sneakers the walmart the walmart sandals are from ross or and we even saw her up in the thrift store buying Legend a pair of sandals, but she always manages to get to that Nike store and buy that little boy, buy that little boy a pair of Nike shoes. And it's so crazy how 
your other four have to sit and wait around for school to come around or for Christmas to come around. But Legend all year round is getting shoes. And I know a lot of people were in the comments saying, oh, you know, that's not his son. He's not obligated to buy. Uh, or, I mean, the other four are not his kids. Uh, he's not obligated to buy any of the other four any shoes. If, they're, if they want sh the Nike shoes, then their father can go and get them some, which is Philip, y'all know. Which I don't agree with that because Hannah's over there buying them clothes. Hannah came to Instagram me running in the video and she said that she had bought them uh, plenty of summer clothes that I guess they keep over there. But she buys them clothes. You know, she pays for them to eat places and do things. So why is Chris over there acting like he doesn't want to be bothered to buy those kids, any those four kids, anything? Even if, like I said, they're cheap clearance shoes, it's the thought that counts and you just never ever want to seem bothered to even buy those kids a piece of a gum. But when it comes to Legend, which I know a lot of people were also saying that Jazzy was the one who bought the shoes. She's the one who uh, bought Chris and her shoes. But who knows? I mean, I'm sure Chris probably bought his shoes and then Jazzy bought hers in Legend shoes. But let's get into the few comments that were left under the video. Uh, she was deleting a few. I know now she wants to say, oh, anybody can leave, you know, their comments. Um, I'm open for it. You know, I don't care. I want the smoke, but sis, you're deleting comments. Because several people have commented about how she can easily take out him and uh, Chris. But when it comes to our other four kids, she doesn't want to be bothered with it. And then now they're gone. But let's get into this one cut or the few comments that were left on her, the video. So somebody has said, I love it when you're all together, but I know you don't have to film everything. But does he go out with you and your other children? Because I only see him with you and your baby boy, which, you know, I'm pretty sure the person did have just no ill intention. She was probably, you know, concerned like she does never see Chris with her other kids. But Jazzy did reply and say, obviously, you know, taking up for Chris per usual. Uh, and there was another comment that had said, so somebody said you did Chris dirty showing the bald spot. That's why he never wants to be on camera because you post unflattering pics of him. Now will be another five months before he shows up again. So y'all what this what this girl is specifically talking about. I'm going to post the clip because not only did we see Chris's horrible bald spot, but y'all get to see the 10 whole sausages. I mean, this girl, they literally made a whole pack of 10 sausages and put a whole sausage on each taco. This girl had about five tacos, which uh, I, you know, we wonder, you know, she wonders why that she is the way she is and that she's always coming on here saying, oh, I'm, you know, on my weight loss, which she never, ever follows through with any of the weight loss. You know, I know a lot of people were in her comments asking what happens to your weight loss, you know, do, but I'm pretty sure she's off that we see her drinking and eating five whole sausages on breakfast tacos and uh, things like that. But let's get into this clip, y'all, showing Chris's whole bald spot, which she did comment to say that Chris doesn't care. Uh, he could, he did clearly see the bald spot, and he did not care about it being on uh, video. So let's get into it. So I did turn the audio off in that clip just because she had some loud old music playing. But y'all clearly saw Chris's bald spot. And a lot of people were questioning, like, why would she include that clip of him bending over at that with that huge bald spot? And a lot of people were wondering, like, I thought she was uh, had that sponsorship where uh, it was like this type spray, I guess, for his bald spot. And people said, I guess it must have wore off, which at one point he did shave his head, which I don't understand why he decided to grow all his hair back. Usually when people cut all their hair off like that, they... I don't they don't ever like grow it all back. They usually just stay bald, especially if you have trouble growing hair in certain spots. As bad as that man had that big old spot, I like I said, I don't know why he is walking around looking like that. But he does wear a lot of hats most of the time, so I guess he doesn't care. But y'all saw all them sausages, and like I said, sis had five whole breakfast tacos put five whole sausages on each taco and then she wonders why it's never enough food to feed the kids because since y'all two are eating it all up and by the time it's you know time for the kids to eat they don't even have no food for them because 
those kids are not picky eaters. Those kids do eat a good variety of food. And I know them kids would have ate some of those sausages. And the fact that y'all had to be some greedy asses like that using whole sausages on those tiny old little breakfast tacos was just so greedy, sis. And now we know why y'all never have no food in there. But y'all always have some food in there for y'all. Let's just say that. But y'all never have no food in there for those four kids. So I also wanted to get into another thing, you know, just how she was so hyped to come on here and prove to everybody that Chris took her and Legend out to the outlets and they had this outing to prove to everybody that, you know, they are still very much together and he takes them out and they do things. But sis, in all the videos that you posted, this man does not say a word to you. He doesn't make any eye contact with you. He doesn't bother to start a conversation. He doesn't even seem to make much conversation with Legend. Like, you would think as much as she so-called says that he works when he is around him, you would think that she would see more interaction from him with Legend and, you know, just more of just, you know, a fatherly son type vibe, you know, him missing him. But it just seems like Legend is standoffish of him and just doesn't really bother to really make any, you know, connection with him. I mean, like I said, I know that we don't really see the whole entire day of every day, but I know when we do see him in vlogs, you know, you would think that Legend would, you know, gear towards him, especially being that he's always with Jazzy, but he doesn't really seem to do that. And I know in this clip, he seemed like he was really annoyed that Legend was like hanging on to him. And not only that, but he made it a point to roll his eyes yet again at the camera. Like he is so sassy. Not only are you a bum, but you are just so sassy. Always rolling them eyes. Like it really kills me how this girl just leaves these clips in there. Like sis, I wouldn't even have left that clip in there, especially knowing how many people constantly talk about how ignorant he is and how he always just has a mad look like he just wants to kill somebody like i don't understand why she continues to put this man even on camera for the two seconds that she does but let's get into this clip y'all and i also wanted to mention y'all peep how she pours a bunch of salt on her damn rice y'all i've never seen nobody put no damn salt on their rice like this y'all but let's get into this clip Shoot me. These tortillas. <laughs> wow, and then he stops. <laughs> Are you laying on daddy? Are you on dad? Uh, all right, so like I said, y'all saw that clip, Mr. Sassy Bum, Mr. Bum Sassy, whatever you want to call him. Like, boy, nobody wants to see you. You think that people are dying to see you and you're just so bothered because people are seeing you. But little do you know, nobody even wants to see you. We know that you beat on women. We know that you terrorize kids. We know that, you know, we, we know we know all these things. We don't even want to see you. But these are the shoes that he bought legend, allegedly bought legend, like I said i think the jazzy did buy hers and legend shoes but a lot of people were saying that you know these were probably the cheapest shoes that were there that's why he decided to buy them i mean who knows y'all jazzy will never tell if she did buy them but uh she was definitely make it known that zaddy bought them y'all y'all heard zaddy bought them like says you hype this man up and he doesn't even do anything and that's why he walks around acting the way he does because you give him so much more credit than he even deserves this man deserves nothing like literally nothing and these were the shoes that she got and again you know uh shoes i guess to just work out in because we know sis doesn't go anywhere she doesn't invest in heels or cute sandals or anything like that sis is always just buying workout shoes to just look manly in and just run around in and i don't know y'all but the ending of the video i'm gonna include this clip in here y'all and then we're gonna wrap this video up Oh, man.
So at the ending of the video, she decided to put this clip in of them playing basketball and he didn't say a word to her the entire time. Not that I seen the vibes were just so off and like, I just feel like they're so far into the relationship to still be like going to play basketball. I mean, I know maybe some couples do go and play basketball together, but from what I've seen, like couples who are especially like three to four years in, they have kids together, you know, they're they're grown as hell. You would think that, you know, they would do things like go to a bar together or, you know, just go to some type of grown place, like do grown up things like to just be sitting and playing basketball together is just given like he just wants to do anything with this girl just so she can shut up and stop asking him to do something with her like it's not giving that he wants to put any thought into truly taking her out to you know a grown adult date and just doing grown adult things like sis this man is still just taking you to the park playing basketball with you taking you to the local cafe and you know just taking you places that he just doesn't want to be seen with you i mean i know he took you to the outlet but sis that was because he needed something for himself and he knew he was getting the mexican dinner with it and you know that's just how it usually goes it doesn't really seem like he comes around unless he knows he's getting the mexican dinner and he's getting his way and he's getting his drinks and you know he's getting to call the shots and he make the decisions like when does he ever take you out and you know you pick a nice dress or some perfume or lotions or you pick the day and you pick where y'all eat it just seems like it's always catered to him and she does it to get him to go because she knows that if you know she doesn't cater to him that he won't be going anywhere with her and you know it's like you will do any and everything for this man and he will do not nothing for you and at the end of the day you know jazzy will keep accepting this she will still keep coming on this thing trying to act like they're so in love this love and basketball relationship like sis give it up you will never have the love and basketball relationship this man will never give two f's about you he doesn't care about your kids he makes no effort to make your kids feel special or take your kids anywhere the char going it's just like he wants them to be singled out he wants you to keep all the money for him and legend all the food stamps for him and legend and he doesn't want them kids to have anything but whatever you know if she accepts that that's on her but i just found it crazy that she was so hyped to come on here and show what chris bought her but it backfired when people were coming at her saying sis how can you buy legend a pair of shoes yourself a pair of shoes and then say that the other four had to wait till school time like sis how dare you you always come on here and make it known that legend is getting something but then when it comes to your four kids inflation right y'all remember when she came on here and she said inflation is too high and that's messing with her being able to take the kids out and feed the kids and it's a lot because they're eating up snacks all day and they love to eat like sis your bum in there loves to eat why why can't you do something it's only inflation when your four kids want to go somewhere or they want to eat something but when chris wants to go to his little mexican dinners you can hop right up and pop up 60 dollars, however much it costs and take legend and chris out y'all comment down below what you guys think about this whole thing because i just had to come on here and say that because i just couldn't believe that sis was so hyped to like i said make it known when it all backfired on her in the end but again comment you guys' comments down below you guys know i love hearing your thoughts and opinions thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for another one Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different